Oh my god, I am so ready for this game. Let's do it. Holy crap, that's just the menu. You know, I feel like it's a fire hazard to be holding that cigarette while she fixes the car. I don't know, I, feel, I just feel like that's a pretty bad idea. Okay, we got a, we got a homeless dude here. He was in the trailer. I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh, demon arm is reacting. Oh shit, what's gonna happen? Oh crap. I think he totally took his arm off. Oh, it happened. Oh snap, that's gotta hurt. I don't think insurance is gonna cover that, Nero. Devil May Cry is basically my favorite game franchise of all time. I'm so glad that in DMC5 they brought back all the originals. Legendary Devil Hunter Dante, we got DMC4's Nero, and then we got this new character, the mysterious one, V, who is very poetic and sounds kind of creepy for the most part. I'll be gentle. So the game begins with the gang facing off against this new guy named Urizen, and he kind of reminds me of like Groot's dad, except a lot angrier and lazier based on this picture over here. So the first playable character is Nero, and he has to be the king of jackass lines. You look like you need a hug, but you're not gonna get one from me. Cheer up, crew cut. You taking notes? Oh, I get it. Who brought the marshmallows? Cause I'm bringing the fire. <laughs> like what the fuck does that even mean? One of the game's new characters is Nico, and she's basically your mechanic. She's responsible for making these new cool arm attachments for Nero. Except every time you get a new arm, the game has to give her this stupid bending motion and just keep throwing the arm out on the table like you don't know she's gonna give it to you. It's really frickin' annoying. Hurry up, I wanna play the game, just give me the fucking arm. This is a pretty cool arm though. Mega Man, baby. Good reference, Capcom. Okay, finally, mission start, thank Jesus Christ. Oh, demons, where are you? What the fucking Matrix scene is that? Oh, that's terrifying. I really like how Nero gives the monster shit how he, as he beats the crap out of them. Come on, baby! Let's see, this is why people make fun of Japanese culture sometimes. What in the tentacle kentai crap <laughs> is that? One of the things I actually don't really like about this game is instead of like a key and a door, they'll give you these like eggs and nidhog hatchling and you put them in the you know door which is this giant plant and then it just explodes like it's kind of like life after marriage You're, you could see your, your your tree of life just fade away so in order for Nico to continue to service you you have to call her with one of these payphones and then she basically drives in like a crazy woman and each of her entrances is quite unique Bitch, you almost hit me. Perfect timing. Oh shit, is this the first boss? Yo, that is ugly. It's like a frog fucked a rhino and a deer or some shit like that. <laughs> cool trick. Hey, do you do parties? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I, I feel like Nero should write Christmas cards. Yeah, this boss fight's pretty sick so far. Well, I, I like how like the stage changed. I have to keep on fighting. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh my god, Nico, why the fuck would you smell that? That's disgusting. Did you just sniff that? Do you have any idea where that's been? Up your butt? Yo, that's exactly what I would have said. Focus on the mission. One of the all-time classic enemies return in this game, and it's my personal most terrified monster. This is the grudge-looking monster that comes out of a painting and holds giant scissors to kill you. This honestly is like my ex coming towards me and saying shit like, oh, you did me wrong, I'm gonna fucking chop your balls off. Honestly, scares the fucking shit out of me every time. Holy snap, well that, that's Lady That's lady from one of the earlier uh, Devil May Cry games. DMC3, she was introduced, and whole snap, she is naked. Well, that's a good censoring from Capcom. 
Good censoring. I respect that. Come on, oh man. Are they gonna show her butt? Oh man, Capcom. Oh fuck you, Capcom. <laughs> fuck you, Capcom. The game story really picks up its pace when you get to play as Dante again. And if you thought Nero was witty, Dante takes it to a whole new level. Is it Halloween already? Sparta. That costume looks a little big. I thought you had better taste than that. Looks like your master's got you on a pretty short leash. Come on, little puppy. I'll take you out for a walk. Come on, let's go. Oh, well, Trisha's back too. Oh, she's hot. You know, a fun fact about this light censoring is that this is only applicable to the PlayStation 4 version. Xbox One and PC, they don't have that light there, man. Man, this is why Dante is so cool. He has the coolest weapons. He can fucking turn a motorcycle into like a badass sword, and then he has these cool Bruce Lee nunchucks. God damn it, Capcom, you did such a great job. Okay, fast track back into the story. So the bad guy is actually Virgil, which is Dante's brother. He eats this fruit, and they battle, and... You know, Dante basically kicks the living shit out of him, which is not that interesting. What is interesting is when V, the mysterious one, merges back with Virgil, and he comes back in his original epic form with, like, this fucking Sephiroth music. It's sick. For all the MC fans, like this is pretty sick. Like you love it when the brothers fight. Like it's happening. Holy shit, let's do it. Damn, these cutscenes are great, man. They're fucking double triggered and shit. Oh, oh shit, who is that? Oh, oh you know what's Nero? Oh shit, that's sick. Guys, I think I just fucking jizzed in my pants. Oh shit. Nero, baby. Finally, he gets his devil trigger instead of his useless arm. Oh shit. Yo, he is sexy. See, this is where Nero finally gets the shine. He he tells Uncle Nero to back the fuck off. You know, he goes up against his dad and he says, I'm gonna fucking kick your ass. And then when he transforms, he's just like, fuck you. Literally. Oh, that was fucking sick. He just stabbed his dad with his own sword. Fuck you, Virgil. Interesting. <laughs> oh, brother. You cut off your own son's arm for more power, and you still lost. <gasps> Devil's cry, huh? Let's see what that sounds like! Holy shit. That was a great game. Capcom, you did it again. Great, great comeback with the RE engine. Everything was just great. I fucking give you guys 10 out of 10 donuts. Keep it up, man. Fucking love this shit. I wonder how this would look like to Michael Jackson's Beat It.